This beautiful coastline which stretches north up to Mozambique is the area we're going to focus on for the next few weeks. We're going to head out to sea today and we're in search of the beautiful bottlenose dolphin. And the only way to find these mammals is to pretty much ride up the coastline and just hope that one spots them. We came across this pod which seems to be resident in the area and they're relatively social animals and they often tend to interact with humans but they can also be quite aloof if they do not want to interact. Here you can see this beautiful female, she comes in for a quick glance before the pod starts to slowly move off. And these dolphins move quite a long way up the coastline, just surfing their way up. Here a large school of blue banded snappers sits off the north end of the reef. As we start to make our way down to the northern wall area where the topography really breaks out and is quite different from the northern tip, we start to see different species of fish. Here a large potato bass is busy getting cleaned just hovering over the top of the reef while the midwater is filled with various types of smaller species. This large starfish was clutching to the reef and you can just see the myriad of fish in the background. We have surgeon fish as well as a lot of slinger, the large silver fish, and these fish can be up to 30 years old. Down on the bottom of the reef, we have this beautiful anemone, which is playing host to two different species of fish here. The black fish with the white dot is a domino, and the orange fish with the white stripe down his nose is aptly named a nose stripe anemone fish. These fish are actually covered with a mucus, which protects them from the anemone itself. Now at first, this coral appears quite bland, but as soon as the light begins to land on it, you can see the myriad of colored and the beautiful red that begins to show. Down at the bottom, you can see in one of these holes lies a starry moray. Now this is the only moray with a yellow mouth and it's quite distinct. And finally, towards the end of the dive, I came across thousands and thousands of beautiful sweepers. These fish form massive schools to confuse predators. A stunning dive as we start making our way towards winter and the water starts to get slightly dirtier. This is where you get a large aggregation of different species of fish all coming together to get cleaned. Now these fish, no matter how big or small, need to be cleaned daily or otherwise perish due to the parasites.
Here you can see a small moray eel, which is actually being operated on by these beautiful scarlet skunk shrimp. Looking for bacteria, parasites, dead skin or matter that they will remove from the animal. Here in the foreground you see the second most common of these cleaner shrimp, the Durban dancing shrimp. The other fascinating fish that takes part in this cleaning process is the blue streaked wrasse. These larger fish will allow the wrasse right into the gill cavities, underneath the pectoral fins, as well as into the mouth and they will never ever harm these wrasse. 